Turn the stupid things off. What cave have you guys been living in? And we're the idiots? Relax, I'm just kidding. Well, duh. Why would you want to do something like that? Makes sense. Things are not equal. Hey, it could happen. So I'm driving this brand new $135,000 luxury sedan. Along the 401, I'm about 10 minutes from the car company. Bam, I hit the mother and father of all potholes. I think there was a Volkswagen in the bottom of this thing. Pow, flat tire. Well, there's no place to stop on the 401 because the shoulders are too narrow. You can't stop there, otherwise you get your butt run off by the, some guy driving by it. So I have no choice, put the four-ways on, trundle along, get off, finally get off to a spot where I can park, and doesn't the CAA truck appear like magic? This is fantastic. The guy comes over, puts the car up on his flatbed, takes me back to BMW where I can get another car. But it was this guy's story that I found was interesting. He's from Kurdistan, which doesn't exist. He lived in Norway for a number of years. Now he's come to Canada. He's got a wife, two lovely young kids, and he's complaining about the driving in Canada. He's from Kurdistan, and he figures, we have the worst drivers in the world. Nothing I haven't been saying for the last 30 years, but while we were parked at the side of the road trying to get my car on the flatbed, nobody pulled out from that lane. You're supposed to leave a lane when you go and buy somebody who's disabled at the side of the road. No, I'm not gonna do that. Everybody's driving in the wrong lane. And when he stops people to help people who've had their cars break down, they think the engine blew up. No, the tire was flat. This particular car had run flat, so I couldn't drive anywhere anyway. But the point was, here is this guy. He's only been in the country for a few years. He knows more about driving than most of you. Well, not you, because our viewers aren't like that. I'm talking about all your friends who don't watch this show. But the other thing I wanted to think about this particular young man, here he's come to a foreign country. He's making a good living for himself, and he's working for the CAA. Now, this is not an advertisement for the CAA. I've been helped several times by these people. They've always been really, really good. So if you don't have CAA membership, unpaid plug, get it right away. If you're lucky, maybe you get my friend from Kurdistan to help you next time you get a flat tire. I'm Jim Kenzie.